The 23 here has basically with our full stage two kit as far as bolt-ons. The yes. stacks are a big deal. Um, they're pretty too. We got the nice red ones. They're gorgeous. Yes, they're anodized, the highest quality basic that you can find. And we're going to do a baseline with these modifications, show people the numbers. And then we're going to load our product, which gets rid of some very extreme throttle limiting that the previous bikes didn't have. So it's going to be going to be a big deal. People are going to want to buy this bike. So this is a fifth gear run. You can see two things. We can just go over real quick. Okay. Big dip right here. Yes. Um, there is a throttle closure on this bike, even in fifth gear okay. in this area. And as you can see, the bike goes severely lean if you want to tuck down a little bit further. Very lean there. Okay. Yes. And the other thing that the 23s have is this massive throttle closure up top. Oh, boy. The M's have it. The single R's have it. At about 12.5, they start shutting down big time. Yeah. We're going to fix that. Oh, please do. <laughs> and, and as of right now, we believe from what we've seen, we're the only people that can fix it. Ninety-eight horsepower. I like that number. Yeah. So we had one seventy, one seventy-eight, fifty-one, and then this is fifth gear uh, replaced again. You can see the gains are, are massive. Yes. You have that dip that we talked about is, is sorted. Yes. Um, it's gone from ninety-two horsepower to one hundred and ten. Basically, have gains everywhere. Yes. And this, and this is with the parts already installed. Um, What's most important, as we talked about, is this dip right here. So yes, you only have a 20 horsepower gain at peak, which is people focus on this number. Yes. Well, let's talk about this throttle closure dip that these bikes have. Um, you now have a 30 horsepower gain at 13,000 RPMs. I see that. That's, Look at that. Yeah. That's massive. Now, it's running second gear, so the torque isn't not accurate in the aspect of number, but yeah. what it's accurate is in the aspect of restriction here. The difference here is massive. Indeed. That's 80 right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can see, you know, obviously the, the different rev limiter and the throttle closure. We're yes. making close to 40 at red line. Yep. 50 down here, 60, 70. I mean, it's, it's insane. This is it not is. much different. If, if you are a K67 fan and you've followed E before, you've seen this with the 2020, yes. take what you know before and then make it even worse. Because the K67s did have the top end open. And as you just saw by fifth gear on this bike, the top end is closed. Yeah. All the bikes going forward are going to have this. The M has it. The single RM has it. Um, it's just going to get worse so realistically we have the solution for it here as you saw just a reflash yeah no parts nothing changed 30 horsepower gain the higher rpm 20 peak 15 to 20 down low i mean it's 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 even better than the case and the rideability has improved greatly incredible this yeah. bike as a whole in my opinion is better it has a better quick shifter it has better throttle maps i mean they've refine this bike it feels it feels closer to like what a tune 20 does but with the restrictions i mean this bike is just another level out of the box you just have to get this done yes